linear algebra create an LU factorization of matrix? I recently took a course in linear algebra, and accordingly I'm going to be demonstrating some of what I've learned in that course. And here we have a three by three matrix, and we're going to perform a, an LU factorization. And we're going to demonstrate what that is, and kind of as we go, explain the value of, of this. What we're going to do is start on the left side. We're going to row reduce this matrix so as to get zeros in the lower left corner of the matrix. So we're going to zero out this 10, this 15, and this 1. As we do so, we're going to take uh, an L matrix, an L identity matrix, and the L identity matrix is going to have ones down the diagonal, and we're going to have zeros up here, and we're going to, by what we do on the left side, to get things out of the lower left area, to get what we have here, the remnant of the operations are going to appear in the lower left of this L portion of the factorization. So the first thing we're going to do is, is get rid of this 10 here. And we're going to make note of the operation that it takes to do so. So I'm going to recreate that top row, make it 5, 3, 4. And we're going to leave the lower row unaffected. So we're going to put here 15, 1, and 2. And what do we have to do to zero out this 10? What we're going to do is multiply the top row by 2 and add it to the second row. So I'm going to say 2 row 1 plus row 2. That's going to be our operation. So we take negative 5 times 2, add it to 10, we get 0. And we're going to continue with the remainder of these rows. 3 times 2 is 6 plus R2, which is negative 8. We're going to get 6 minus 8, or negative 2 minus 2. And then for this last value, we're going to take 2 times 4, which is 8, and add to it negative 9. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Now we get to the portion where we see what happens in the L side. We're going to take this value of 2 here that we multiplied row 1 by, and we're going to bring it over here. What we do is we take the additive inverse of the operation we, we made. So instead of taking this 2 here, we change that to negative 2 in this spot in the L matrix. Okay, next thing we're going to do is get rid of this 15. What are we going to get do to get rid of that 15? What we're going to do is we're going to take 3 times row 1 and add it to row 3. In the meantime, we're going to continue to write what we had here, negative 5, 3, 4, 0, negative 2, negative 1. These top two rows will not change at all. So we say uh, 3, row 1, plus row 3. And so we take 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15, add it to 15, we're going to get 0. We take 3 times the top row, which is going to be 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And then we're going to take 
for our last entry here, 3 times 4, what's 3 times 4? 12 plus 2, 14. And we're going to take this 3, take its additive inverse, and that's going to be negative 3 right here in the lower left corner of the L factorization. And the last thing we're going to do is get rid of this 10. At this point, we're going to use our operation from the second row. So the first row, we're going to write negative 5, 3, 4. Our second row, we're going to leave as 0, negative 2, negative 1. And then now, for this final row, we're going to take five times row two. So five row two plus row three. And we do that, well, we're going to get zero here. Five times zero plus zero, zero. Okay, five times negative two is negative ten plus ten. That's going to zero out. We're going to take 5 times negative 1, which is negative 5 plus 14. Negative 5 plus 14 will be 9. And what are we going to do? We're going to take this 5, and this 5, we're going to take the additive inverse of this 5 and put negative 5 right here. And so, so our L is going to be equal to just okay, 1, 1, 1. These are all zeros here. In the lower left corner, we're going to have negative 2, negative 3, and negative 5. Okay, and our u is going to be what remains here. So we're going to say u is equal to negative 5, 3, 4, 0, negative 2, negative 1, and then 0, 0, 9. And that's going to be it. We performed our LU factorization. And the last thing I'm going to do is multiply these two together. If we've done our factorization properly, we multiply u by l, we're going to get back to where we started. And so I'm going to go to this next page where I did that using a calculator. And here we have our, our l multiplied by our u, and we get our original. Sometimes your original by convention is called a. Now, what I'm going to do is take this matrix here, and I'm going to let you take a stab at it and see if you can work it out. Just pause the video, work it out, see if you got it right, and just go ahead, and, and I'll show you the answer here. Okay, here's the LU factorization, and you can kind of see where these operations happen and how these inverse coefficients are, how we ended up with our U factorization down here in the lower left and our L portion of the factorization on the right side. And to verify by calculator, this is what it looked like here. So I hope this has been helpful to you as far as what this is used for. And using computers, once you go ahead and, and make an LU factorization, it makes the calculation of, of uh, the use of matrices in solving equations a lot more efficient. So this will be an efficiency step doing it this way. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.